HH66 works great for vinyl repairs. Let's say you have an awning with a hole in it like you have here and you want to repair it with vinyl. HH66 is by far the best glue out there. We'll apply that to the patch all along the sides and in the middle as well to cover the entire perimeter and the entire surface of that patch and then we'll also apply it to the material that we're going to be basting it to. One of the reasons HH66 vinyl cement works so well is it has a tendency to melt a little bit of that vinyl material away and that uh, causes it to bond extremely well, very flexible after, it's, uh, after it cures. You let it wait uh, two to five minutes before applying that patch and you've got a great patch that will last years and years, almost as good as sewing and uh, this stuff is nice because you sometimes don't have to take down your project to repair it. So we're obviously using black on white so that you can see what we're doing here. Here's what it looks like when it's cured completely. A nice solid patch, vinyl to vinyl only. In this illustration we're going to use HH66 vinyl cement on this super heavy duty tramp material. Uh, we've already cut the uh, facing which is six inches in width and will be folded to three inches for the grommet reinforcement. We're using the cement to secure that vinyl facing on the edge of this super heavy duty tramp because it makes it easier for sewing. So we've already drawn a line down the center of this uh, facing and that determines the center position. So we'll match up that uh, super heavy duty tramp close to that line, not directly on top because we want a little bit of a, a give so that we can make sure that it sandwiches on the other side nice and neat. Look how strong it is when it's cured uh, completely. You can almost lift this whole super heavy duty tramp up just by that facing. So you know it's going to hold well when you go to your sewing machine and sew it. To complete it off we'll just uh, put HH66 vinyl cement on the other side of this facing and then fold it over the top and secure it. Should wait about uh, two to five minutes for it to cure. That way it sets up nicely. You don't have to put a lot of glue on here, just enough to hold it in place while you go to your sewing machine and sew this assembly in place. Many of our customers are building super heavy duty tramps because they cost so much. So this is a great little secret in making that job a little bit easier while you're taking it to your sewing machine and sewing.